So today I made a phone call to a good old buddy of everybody in Orange County, former judge Carl Thibodeau. His son, of course, Tyler, his daughter also went to West Orange Stark. The former mayor has a ton of junk. Now it's this great memorabilia all over his household in West Orange, right off of Western Avenue. And he gave me a little tape with a couple of Channel 12 broadcast from back in the day. Back in the day meaning 1986 and 1987 Mustang fans. A couple of years you'll never forget two of your four state titles. Enjoy a little blast from the past. West Orange Stark was the number one ranked team in the state even before the season began. Not surprisingly, they didn't care. That's not really that important to us. I mean, uh, it's nice to be ranked number one, but I tell our kids that, you know, December the 20th is when you need to be number one at state finals. The funny thing is that after just three games, not too many people were thinking state title at all. The dynasty for West Orange Stark started with a 4A title back in 1986. When West Orange Stark won their first ever state title back in 1986, it wasn't that big of a surprise. The Mustangs were ranked number one in preseason after coming down from Class 5A the year before, and they stayed in the top ten all year long. What was a surprise was the way they played in the title game. Against a favored McKinney team, the Mustangs' defense shut down all of the Lions' offense, including one of the state's leading rushers, Randy Simmons, who's now at Texas A&M. One of the team leaders on that 86 squad was senior Kevin Smith. First, he intercepted a pass on Rockwall's first drive, and then on offense, he caught this touchdown toss from Tremaine Lewis to give the Mustangs an early 7-0 lead. Later with the game tied at 7, the Mustangs used the running of then-junior Terrence Brown to move the ball on the ground. Brown finished the day with 108 yards. Once they got close, Lewis threw his second touchdown toss, this one to Julian Richard, and West Orange Stark never looked back. How about all those great names? What great moments. John Ireland and Van Earl Wright giving us the calls on those recaps. That was a 1988 broadcast talking about those first two championships. At one point, they even said in the broadcast, unheard of to have a team go to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championship games. And guess what? West Orange has been to four straight and counting three and four on this season. But those matters and those records don't matter tonight. What we're here for is the final. 500th game. West Orange is officially now 497 and three all time in the school's history since opening in 1977. The West Orange Chiefs merging with the Stark Tigers, and you know the rest. Four state titles, and they've won now over 80 percent of the games in school's history, passing South Lake Carroll as the highest winning percentage of any Texas team that's played a minimum of 500 games of Texas high school football. Other teams in that top five on that list before West Orange prop to the top tonight. We're talking South Lake Carroll, Highland Park, Austin Westlake, Houston Jack Yates. I mean, these are powerhouse programs, and now West Orange Stark can say they are number one at the top of that list. In the top 25, TJ made that cut top 25. So just goes to show you, you remember Port Arthur, Thomas Jefferson back in the day and how dominant they were and what it means for West Orange tonight on game number 500. You heard from Coach Thompson. He's been here all but two years since 1977. Coach McCarty, Coach Hooks, and Coach Thompson, the only three head coaches in the history of West Orange Stark football. All right, that's going to wrap it up tonight for West Orange's sake. We're going to talk a little bit about next week coming up after the break, but first we want to take a look 